What's up guys? Today we'll be drawing Ultra Necrozma from Pokemon. In this short video tutorial, I'll be going over the step by step of how to create this drawing from start to finish. Feel free to go through the chap video chapter in the description below and skip to the part where you need to review or look at. Okay? Now beginning with the rough basic shapes and form with pencil, we're going to then refine the rough sketch with detailed line work. After that, we're going to trace the pencil drawing with marker, then color in the midtones and the shadow, and finally trace the profile lines with the marker again to complete this drawing. Okay? So let's take a look at the materials we need for the drawing. You're going to need a black marker, a pencil, an eraser, and some hot color pencils. So I have this gold color for all the crystals, and I have a yellow color for the body and the wings. I have a blue and a red for the eyes. Okay, and that's all you need. I have a sticky roller with me. This is optional, but it makes cleanup very easy. All right, so feel free to draw along and pause the video whenever you like and catch up with me, okay? So, and if you want, go ahead and click the like and subscribe button. All right, and let's get, let's get to the drawing. Now, before we start our drawing, let's take a look at the reference picture of Ultra Necrozma and find out what shapes and form we can use to create our drawing. So, now, uh, Ultra Necrozma's proportion, uh, you have to be careful because it actually has a very small head and a very long body. Okay, so this body is a very in the shape of a very long oval, almost in, in the shape of like a, like a medicine uh, capsule. Okay, and then the thighs are two ovals as well. Huge thighs, by the way. It's it's almost a little bit over half the size of the body. The biggest is the calf. The calves are two pentagon-shaped diamonds. Okay, if you use your pencil as a uh, measuring tool, you'll see that the calves and the foot it's actually longer than the entire body, entire. Like, it's, it's to the point of the eyes, if you measure it. See how big those calves and feet are? So those proportions you're going to want to remember, okay? Um, so, if I were to draw a thumbnail, you know, small head, long body. Now, if we measure it, the length of the body, it's like four times the head. So this body is really long. And we have the thighs on the two sides and the huge calves and feet. Okay, with these huge toes and like a diamond horn poking out like that. <clears throat> okay, big giant tail, S curve. You're gonna find a lot of S curves in a lot of designs. And uh, so you draw more and more, you'll notice them. And then we got triangles for the horns. Okay, now two little horns sticking out of the thighs. Okay, the head is three big horns one on the left, one on the right, one on the top, and then two bat wings for the ears. Okay, there are two things dangly here, and then, and then the wings, okay? Now these four wings, they're about the same size. All four wings, it's not like two big wings and two small wings. If you look at it, the size are about the same, okay? So, now this shape is very important, that's on top of the wing. It's like the support of the whole wing. So we're gonna put those shapes in there, and these shapes in here. Okay? And you will have you will have um, ultra necrozma. Okay, so very interesting shape, very interesting proportion, very interesting composition. Okay, so let's let's give it a try. Oh, well, before we go into our version of the drawing, let's find out which direction the light is coming from in the picture. It'll help us when we color in the highlight, mid tone, and shadow. The highlight, mid tone, and shadow for uh, ultra necrozma is also very interesting because you don't have like it's, it's you don't have like a light coming from any particular direction. Like, the whole thing is glowing. Okay, and then you have all these diamond surfaces that you know reflects here and there it's it's just like it, it doesn't have a, like like one light source from one direction it's kind of like the whole thing's glowing that's why you see when you color it's like towards the edge is a little bit darker and then toward the middle of the area is lighter okay <clears throat> and because these surfaces are so reflective you know you find like reflective surfaces like that like that like that everywhere okay so coloring the highlight the midtone uh it's going to be very uh different with uh ultra necrosma because the whole thing is just a big light all right so now we have all the information we need for our drawing let's start with the roughing in the basic shapes and forms
Okay, for me, this is the most important stage of the drawing because it is actually the foundation of everything else that comes after. Now, see how I draw very lightly at this stage? It is to avoid committing to any lines too soon. When I start to refine a drawing in a second, the more definitive lines that I'm willing to commit to, I'll draw heavier. And the rough sketch will feel like it's fading away as my refined line work emerge from the basic shape and forms. Now, another tip when drawing circular shapes, as you see, we have a lot of circular shape, the thigh, uh, the body, the face, okay? When drawing circular shape, I like to draw the four corners first, and then draw the other four corners of the shape, and then connect the lines. This method gives you more control over the shape, and you can actually place it. You have a lot better placement of your shapes by using this technique. So give it a try. Now, if you're not happy with what you have right now, keep working on it until you do. Make sure your anatomy and compositions are good. Remember, we're learning from the reference picture right now, okay? So double check with the reference picture, and if you think it's ready to go, let's start refining the drawing. Okay, see how the rough sketch feels like it's faded away now that we have a refined pencil drawing? Now learn to draw with short and repetitive strokes. But still draw very lightly and look for that definitive line amongst these hard, uh, rough lines. And as you commit to the more definitive line, draw harder, draw heavier. And that's how you'll see a real drawing emerge from the rough sketch. Okay? Okay, so the next step is to trace your pencil drawing with a marker and then erase the uh, pencil drawing afterwards. Now pay attention to uh, areas where forms overlap. Now for Ultra Necrozma, uh, it's not much of that going on here, but usually if, if like the character is not a just big giant light glowing, you would often find sh area of shapes overlapping here. Okay? But for Necro uh, Ultra Necrozma, we don't find that uh, too much, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Okay, now another tip for this step is to rotate, keep rotating your paper to produce smoother lines, and remember that you don't have to finish a long line with one single stroke. So I am using a thinner black marker for this, okay, uh, because if you use uh, too thick of a marker, uh, Necro uh, the, the proportion uh, of Ultra Necrozma, is, it, it, he's a huge Pokemon, so if you draw him with a thicker black marker, it's going to feel like he's small, he's tiny, okay? Uh, so we're going to use a thinner black marker. Now, to demonstrate what I meant by breaking up a long line with several smaller strokes. So this is what I mean. So for example, the tail. So one stroke, two stroke, three strokes. See, it looks like one continuous line, but I actually did it with three short strokes. That's what I meant, okay? So keep that in mind and let's start tracing. Okay, when you erase the pencil drawing, make sure you hold down the paper with the other hand so that you won't risk wrinkle or crease up your paper, okay? Now the next, uh, next step is coloring. Now most objects will have highlight, mid tone, and shadow, but like I said, uh, for uh, Ultra and the Crosma, like this guy is just a big one glowing light. Uh, so the way we're gonna color it, it's gonna be a little bit different, uh, especially when the most major part of his body is so bright, it's just white, okay? Um, so let's take a look at our reference picture here. 
see we're just gonna color darker around the edge okay and then for these crystal surfaces we're just gonna uh, reference like uh, our picture here and uh, see how they're coloring it see how like for, for these reflected surfaces he's leaving like the edge glowing so like the middle of the surface is going to be darker and then around the edge it's going to be lighter and also uh since it's so reflective you now is uh like very often we have like a gradient from light to dark from top to down but now instead since it's reflective now you have something uh, that's lighter on the bottom of the surface and darker on the top it will give you like a, a reflective feel of the surface okay so that's what we're going to do um going to uh, start uh, with the with these crystals first and then I'm gonna work on the body. Okay, so coloring is actually pretty simple. Okay, we're not gonna divide it up into like mid-tone coloring or shadow coloring, coloring or all that, which we're just gonna go at it, okay? Okay, so just like that, we have all the colors for Ultra and the Crossma in here. Uh, see how we just drew, make the, uh, the area along the lines uh, with color and then leaving uh, the more center area white. It feels, and now it feels like it's gone, which is exactly what Ultra and the Crossma is about. Okay, so I know it looks, already looks good, but we're going to make it look even better by making the profile lines thicker. Now the profile lines are the outermost border of each major form. For example, the wings, the thigh, the leg, the tail. Uh, detail lines like this armor piece or... Uh, the detail lines on the crystal uh, caps, those will not be considered profile lines, okay? Uh, we'll make the profile lines thicker, and the whole character will pop out a little, bit, uh, a little bit better. Now, usually I will use like a thicker marker for the profile line, but again, I'm using a thin marker again because, um, like I said, it's a huge Pokemon. Uh, Ultra Necrozma is giant. So I don't want to use a th super thick line that's going to feel like the character is, uh, is downsized, okay? So I'm going to use the thin line for the profile line again. And there we have it, Ultron Necrozma from Pokemon. Now remember, drawing is like playing the piano. You can have the best instructor and the best music sheet in front of you. You might even know the music very well, but it is only through practice that you will get better and become what you want to be. Now the whole point of my videos is to provide a side-by-side -side training for you on a daily basis, like riding a bicycle. I might have to hold your bike for you in the beginning, but just keep drawing and before you know it, you will be flying. All right, that's it, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed this drawing tutorial. Let me know in the comments below what you would like to draw next. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.